I'm Matt Bichard with Nayrate here at the New York Hilton for REIT Week 2017, Nayrate's Investor Forum. Joining me today is Deborah Cafaro, the Chairman and CEO of Ventas. Deb, thanks so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Now, Ventas closed on a billion dollars in acquisitions in the first quarter, which comes off of 12 months of nearly $3 billion in deals. Yes. What sort of market fundamentals are driving those deals? Mm -hmm. Well, Ventas has been an investment machine, and I think one of the great characteristics that we've had as we've built a $35 billion enterprise is good capital allocation strategies. And there are some exciting uh, new business lines that we've gotten into over the last 12 months including an institutional university-based life science business. We've committed about $2 billion to that business, which provides great returns and is on the campuses of incredible R&D institutions like University of Pennsylvania, WashU, Brown, and Yale. It's a very exciting new business. And how was the recent purchase of the South Street Landing Campus in Providence, Rhode Island, indicative of the type of opportunities that you're looking for in that sector? Well, this is one of the add-on opportunities that we have in this, in this institutional business. What's really exciting about it is we are providing capital to leading research universities who are highly rated, and we're able to develop for them a tremendous new life science, innovation, and academic medicine facilities on their campuses. And it's very exciting. South Street Landing is one good example of that. We acquired that on the Brown campus. It's 100% pre-leased by Brown and the University of Rhode Island. It has state-of-the-art facilities for medical training, and it's 100% pre-leased. And we got an incredible return in the almost 7% unlevered yield for it. So we think it's a great risk-adjusted return. We also are controlling a lot of the sites around where South Street Landing is located. And by the way, it's a historic preservation site, so it's a beautiful real estate redevelopment. And we're controlling the sites around, and we expect there to be continued investment in innovation, life science, and academic medicine. And what sort of supply pressures are you seeing uh, in relation to your senior housing portfolio and how are you adjusting to that? Well, we're shifting gears a little bit. Talk about senior housing. We love the senior housing business. It's a big part of Ventas's high quality, diverse portfolio. It plays to, of course, the over 85 population, which should triple by 2050, and it also plays to the baby boomer cohort, which 10,000 of us are turning 65 every day. And so we see this incredible wave of demand coming for all sectors of Ventas's business, including senior housing. In light of that, we do see some pockets where there is development in anticipation of that expected demand, and there may be a slight timing mismatch. Our portfolio is about 70% in the coastal markets where we see equilibrium or better absorption activities. There are pockets in cities you may expect, like Atlanta, where we expect some excess supply, but on average, our portfolio is performing well. We have great pricing power in the coastal markets, and we're holding our own through operational excellence in the markets where there is some development. The one thing I would add is where we see more development, like Atlanta, we also see an incredible growth in the age and income qualified senior population. So we know that that demand will absorb the supply over time and view it as a normal sort of real estate cycle. Deb, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. For more from REIT Week 2017 and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.